Well, Christoph, we've seen um, David Wagner collecting the Manager of the Month Award for February. He's been very quick to credit yourself and Andy Hughes that it's a very much a joint effort, this award. Why do you think the relationship between the three of you is working so well? So obviously David and me, um, we know us a long time. So this is not, not the question. And Yuzi, Yuzi is a, a footballer, so and as well, uh, everybody who knows Yuzi knows that he is a positive guy. He knows a lot of football, and that means uh, we can talk a lot about football, and that's basically why it works so so well. Yeah. But um, the award he get, uh, I don't think it's only um, Dave, me, or Yuzi. It's the whole stuff, uh, the whole backroom stuff, uh, who is doing a good a good job, and I think. It's an honor for them as well. Do you all have very defined roles then? You know exactly what your contribution is going to be for, for any given match build-up. Yes, so uh, my main um, task is um, to support David or provide David with the evidence of the video clips um, before the game, during the game and after the game together with my analysis uh, department, uh, Westy and Lawrence. So that means I give him I, an idea uh, how the opponent is playing. I give him um, um, support in the halftime for pictures um, where we can improve during the game. And obviously after the game, um, yeah, we do the feedback for the team and individual feedbacks as well for the, for the players. This is my main part besides uh, to support him in all issues we or he has, obviously. Do you disagree very often? <laughs> I think uh, sometimes uh, it's not a disagree, it's just a different opinion, you know. Um, a lot of ways uh, uh, you can go to win games or to lose games, uh, but you have to do the decisions and he is obviously the decision maker. And I try to support him with, with my knowledge uh, and then he has to decide. Yeah. I'm sure you've been doing all your analysis then and preparations on Brentford for tomorrow. Um, what sort of game are you expecting from them? Um, I think this will be a tough game, to be honest, because um, you can um, compare them a bit to our style we play. Um, they have a lot of good footballers. They want to play on the pitch. They want to combine. They want to play a quick one-twos, give and goes. Um, they as well have a really good reactive pressure. So I think um, this will be um, a good game to watch uh, in terms of um, high intensity, uh, good footballing. Um, yeah, I, I'm looking forward uh, to this game because I'm a bit excited. Uh, I like this team, how they play, to be honest. Lots of goals, do you think? Um, could be. Yeah, could be. Both uh, are able to create a lot of chances. Um, and obviously with Vibe and Jota, they have two strikers. Uh, they still score a, a lot of goals. Um, so, could be, yes. How do you go about stopping their attacking threat then? As you say, they've got quite a lot of pace, power. How do you make sure that you cope with that? Obviously, each footballing team uh, doesn't like uh, when when you have pressure on the ball. So I think we have to uh, defend as well, very energetic. Try to stop them uh, playing. Try to give them as less time as possible on the ball because then the decision making is uh, not as good as you have time on the ball, obviously. And this is what we what we try to do. But to be honest, this is what we try to do in each game in the past. We know how good. You all three of you are in terms of man management. You speak to the players and they're always, you know, they can't praise you highly enough for that aspect of it. How important is that element of your coaching going to be for these final 11 games? Now the end is almost in sight and the big prize is so close, you know, you can almost grasp it. How much does the, the mental side and the, the man management side come in over these next few weeks? To be honest, I think uh, it is exactly the way around. Um, so we needed, we don't we needed uh, a lot of uh, individual um, meetings with the players, which I did, for example, with the with the video meetings with them. But now they as well build up a, a, a big confidence, you know. And um, I think they exactly know what they do, and um, 
my personal opinion is that everybody uh, knows it is we we don't have anything to lose you know um, we still uh, performing over the acceptation line you know um, nobody expected us to be on this on this place in the table uh, to the end of the season so we are playing with freedom uh, and we do what we did in the past um, we look forward for the next game uh, which is around the corner and then we do this and then the next game is coming up so we have still 11 games to go i think and uh, could be having everything in this uh, period and i think that players know that that they can play with freedom and that uh, there's no pressure on us no so you don't see any any signs of pressure creeping in no, the reality is we could we could be going to the premier league here that they're all I think I think this is not a reality, to be honest. I don't think we speak about the Premier League. We are speaking about the next opponent, and this is now uh, Brentford. And the players obviously uh, like to win, and obviously they enjoy as well. Um, probably this is one of the best seasons uh, some players had in their life so far. And this is what we are enjoying, and uh, that's it, basically. Nobody is talking about the Premier League. <laughs> we can talk about the Premier League maybe in the summer, but <laughs> not now. In terms of the team for Saturday, um, we wait and see how Danny Ward was with his thigh injury. Is he going to be available again? I didn't have a contact with the medical um, department now, to be honest, so I can't tell you if he is available or not. I will know this in 15 minutes <laughs> <laughs> after the press conference, unfortunately. As far as you know, is everybody else fit? Definitely yeah, we didn't suffer uh, any new injuries uh, beside of uh, Harry Bunn in, 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 in the game on Tuesday. We had a friendly and there he suffered the injury, unfortunately. Oh, right. So what he is not, so he's not um, available for this weekend. Okay. What more can you tell us about that? What's he done? He has a groin injury. Uh, he played. We wanted to give him a playing, play minutes um, in his legs and uh, he played 60 minutes and after the game he, he had some, some pain and uh, now we know that uh, he is not available for this weekend. Okay. Do you know how long he might be out for? Um, I don't think um, it's uh, too long, um, to be honest. This is the same information I get in 15 minutes, <laughs> uh, so I'm sorry for that. And, and that, that game, um, the friendly game as well, was also for Sean Scannell to give him some more time. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, how did he come through that? I think he, he did, did good. He, do, he did some good maneuvers on, on the sideline. Uh, he ran up and down and he enjoyed to play football, obviously, uh, after this long period of his injury. And uh, I think literally he is back uh, to, to, to join us and, and help us. So we might see him in the team this weekend too soon or a couple of weeks? This is something we have to decide after the training session uh, later on. Um, so, but he is, he is available, yeah. But obviously, he needs he needs time to to come back after this uh, long um, injury period. But he is available up from now on. Yeah.